Oh man, um, uh, Tony Braunagel, the producer, drummer. He, we've been wanting to work together for years, and uh, I've done a, you know a couple little things that we've been on where I set in on some stuff that he's been doing, and he heard, he was like, Freddie, I'm doing this project and you would be great to do it. And I said, okay, let's, let's do some stuff because we've been wanting to work together. So I didn't know, you know, he was telling me like, Calvin was like, it was like a bluesy kind of thing, but I'm hearing even more than that, that with Calvin, it's a really special, he's like a real special artist. The pollen stains from your I'm sorry flowers, the love we made, Hours and hours, what a big mistake Hardly now do I ever think of you One of a, a one of a kind in what he's doing. I'm, I'm hearing blues, I'm hearing a opera kind of thing, a jazzy kind of thing, and it's really special, man. I mean, he's the emotion that I get from him and, and his lyric content and how he delivers and everything is real special. I've never been on a session with someone that was playing the harp, an artist that was playing the harp like that. And he's singing blues and he's singing this jazz stuff. I mean, I was like, this is different. This is different and it was really refreshing. Yeah. And, and how about the way the songs kind of came together? I mean, Last night's uh, Don't Explain. Oh, Don't is that that's the um, the Nina Simone? Oh, that slayed me right there. The way that the way that came together, um, when he started singing it, I was like, wow, because he we went from some blues to that, and it was a departure, and I'm like, wait a minute, this guy is something else because. The song, the song to me is kind of a dark. It was, it's kind of dark, but it's kind of, it's got this uplifting thing and dark as well, man. And he delivered this thing real masterfully and beautiful. I mean, the way he did it. I mean, I, I just, I just thought it because to go from blues to that, it's like it's, it's, it's a whole nother, it's a whole nother way to go. And he did it, and I believed it. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about Back to You and how, you know, it's all based around, it's based around his own guitar playing and the soulfulness of the playing and, mm -hmm. the, you know, just how it was kind of getting out of his way. Yes. You know, the, you, know you, you want to do it a certain way and then it was just getting it, it, it kept taking stuff away. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. The, the song Back to You, it's like, it's real, or it's open. It's about him, his voice, and the acoustic, acoustic guitar. And you want to be... It's real organic, and you want to be minimal. Whatever you do, it's just a it's just a touch, and it's about him. It's not about us. It's not about what we're playing. It's it is about what we're playing because you can play too much, or you can play too less. But it gets back to him and what he's doing, how he's strumming and singing the lyric, and you can really see him shine through this thing because he could have just did it with acoustic guitar and voice, and it, is, it would have still been incredible. But with the band, we kind of gave it a nice little lift, but it got back to the spotlight was on him. Oh, I, I see a bright future. I hope everybody sees what I see. I see a bright future for him, and it's, and it's something much needed. It's really needed right now. I deserve every horn in my shoe but when I come back, I won't come back to you.